Well, more than 10 years ago, uh, me and my colleagues were inspired by NASA, uh, try, and they were trying to grow wheat in outer space. I guess to provide a, a food supply for astronauts on long space missions. And what they were doing was they were growing the wheat under continuous light, so the plants didn't sleep, and it tricked them into growing very fast. We thought, what a cool tool this might be to actually speed up our research and crop breeding are here on planet Earth. Essentially, the speed breeding is a tool for plant breeders um, to develop a more robust crops for farmers to grow uh, in, in the paddock. Plant breeders can use this tool to transfer genes uh, for disease resistance or drought tolerance um, and plug them into new varieties for farmers much faster than usual. Because plant breeding is such a long and slow process, it can take up to 10 to 20 years to develop an improved crop variety for farmers. Well, using speed breeding, we can go from seed to seed in just six weeks. And what it means is we can achieve up to six generations per year, instead of just one in the field. Well, we face a huge challenge to feed the world, nine billion mouths to feed by 2050, and our crops that we're growing today aren't good enough to get the job done. We need more robust crops uh, to feed the world in the face of a, of a, cli of a changing climate. This includes uh, warmer temperatures, more uh, frequent droughts, rapidly evolving pests and pathogens. Speed breeding is going to be a really useful tool to, to transfer these traits into modern varieties for our farmers to grow around the world.